Welcome to The Advocate on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss thought-provoking topics in an atmosphere of seriousness, decisiveness, and laughter. Here, we call a spade a spade. Today, I'm asking if we can truly have change in 2023. Comfort is asking if we, the adults, have failed the kids. Shala points out the need to take action to avoid more building collapses and Tolu Moya is urging everyone to come out to vote in 2023. Sit back and after this break, we'll be here to dissect it all. Stay with us. Now, everybody is looking forward to 2023, all eyes on the ball. Many have called 2023 elections a make or break election one that would determine the fortunes or misfortunes, God forbid, of Nigeria. Many who have lost hope in the idea of a nation called Nigeria have suddenly found their hope where it was hidden. Those who had refused to vote over the past two election cycles have suddenly realized how important it is to vote because after all, we will live with what we do or do not do. The Sorosuke generation are determined to change Nigeria with their vote. They want to prove to the older generation that they have the capacity to change this great nation called Nigeria. But do they really? Does the older generation have the capacity to make the change as well? Who really has the capacity to transform or save Nigeria when even the Save Nigeria group needed saving at some point? In 2023, it feels like nothing much will change because we are starting late. Yes, we're starting late. The first principle of politics or election, as it is this case, is participation. We the people have refused to participate in party politics, which is the crux of our politics. We claim we want Professor Yemi Oshibajo and Peter Obi, but how do we get them on the ballot if they don't get the party ticket? We insist that the two leading parties have failed and nothing good can come out of them. Yet, we call on them, I mean these two parties, to fill the candidates of our choice. If they both refuse and turn to candidates that you the people do not want, what will you do? Refuse to vote? Ask President Buhari to continue an interim government? Fight and burn down your houses? After all, who bears the brunt? All hopes not yet lost. Do not join the extremely pessimistic lot who believe 2023 is just another election cycle. Your votes can still count. While many of us might disagree, the Nigerian constitution is designed to favor the average man. You just need to know the constitution in order to apply it to your advantage. You have your governors, state house of assemblies, and national assembly. If you get the right representation in place, you can get the president to do your bidding. If you think it's too late to influence the choice of a president, why not turn your attention to other officers, other elected officers, which can influence the president? Make 2023 count. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> yeah. It's very interesting, you know, Kaede, that you 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 know you bring this up. This is it's interesting because my my you know advocacy is more or less an extension of this. Mm. You know, talking about the election and looking at the past cycles and then the numbers mm. speak for themselves. Mm. You know, it's interesting. Um it's almost as if we want change, but we're not willing to pay for it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah but I mean, we, we'll, we'll never get this thing on the platter of gold. No. Mm. In, the, in the history mm. of history, no one has ever gotten change on the platter of gold. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. either sure. fight for it, you always fight for it, and there's a price, price to pay for mm. it. Mm -hmm. The question is, are we willing to pay that price? What is the price and are we willing to pay it? See, that, that mm. first thing is the real question. Yes. What is the price? Yeah. Because we don't even know, a lot of us don't even know the price, yeah. mm. let alone attempt to pay mm. the price. Yeah. I saw you nudging or disagree. No, I kind of disagree <laughs> because right now we have just two options. 
you know, we have the APC and the PDP. You know, even if you have a good candidate from another party, the other the candidate has a very, very slim chance of even coming out, you know, of even getting the form. And we all know how expensive the form is. We had um, for APC, it's about million, 100 million. PDP, uh -huh. million so for somebody to be able to afford that form, some. If, if, we want, if we want change, the same things that need to be resolved from the bottom, mm. you know, from the bottom. Things why like would that. the presidential uh, nomination form be for 100 million? I do not understand that rationale. I do, really do not. But in, another thing is, in Nigeria, we usually have two options. Some people say, okay, if somebody, goes com somebody good or competent comes from ABGA, everybody's like, oh, the person is just wasting his time. You know, there's this assumption, you know. So are we really ready for the change? We're not ready. <laughs> and nobody's willing to pay <laughs> I mean, that price. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm just going to say something before, because I know Comfort is probably ready to say, yeah. to go as well. So, I mean, uh, for me, I mean, you, you pretty much also answered some of the questions. So you said, for instance, that, you know, sometimes you spend too much time or attention, we give too much importance to those two people at the top. Mm -hmm. Remember, they have governors to work with. Yeah. They have House of Assembly members. Yes. They have the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. have that. So, I mean, so... It's not just at the end of the day, uh, uh, change is not just going to come from one man mm. sitting in Nassau Rock. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we have to also hold other people responsible and allow, so if we only have two parties that are vying for the highest position, there are other positions. There are you other know, people Senate, can vie for. There's yeah. the House of Reps. Mm. There's you know, mm. House of Assembly in your state. There are all those other things where we can actually, you know, like you said, change starts from the bottom. The bottom mm. That right there is the bottom. Yeah. It's your local mm. government chairman. You mm -hmm. know, is the councillor. Is yeah. that's where it actually starts. I'll, I'll tell you a story on that, but let's go to Abuja. Comfort. What's your view on this? Your take? My answer to that is no, no. It's a simple no. There cannot be any change, whether it's even a light change. It will not happen in 2023, and this is why you put it down to the fact that we need to get our PVCs and go and vote. The problem is way beyond just the voting. The whole structure is wrong. Um, someone mentioned the issue about even the cost of the forms for various parties. I don't know how much uh, SDP is asking or Abga, these are the other ones, and the core party, and these are the ones that are, you know, we can remember their names. But the point is why, I don't know who is supposed to complain about that, really make an issue of that. Mm. That should have been brought to a standstill. You cannot give, you cannot sell a form for 100 million in the country that we know right now we are grappling with um, poverty, hunger, and uh, bills from, is it bill, what do you call this, that when you owe money and they come and start knocking on your door for it, then we are now still collecting aid. We have all these things and we think it, it, it makes sense to ask somebody to pay 100 million. Have you seen the number of people that have come out in each of these parties that they, they are bought from mm. for this position? I think 24 I right now from the South. Wow. Already. Nobody's saying anything. So I said, so, so that's how much? 400 million. That's, that's already 400 million. <laughs> More than there are 24 yeah, people out from right. the south. Yeah, yeah, that's 2.4 billion. Mm -hmm. huh? That's 2.4 so, billion. Yeah. But I think that's both APC. So what I'm saying is that, and nobody has asked them to come out and. How did you make that money? We have not come out to ask uh, that. Exactly. Then you ask for, there was one flowery place that you said. Uh, it's just for them to understand the constitution that the average man has a lot of, uh, what do you say, mm. a lot of hope in favor that the constitution, how many Nigerians who are even not average understand the constitution? That's the Talking thing. of the average man that you're referring to. So that one in, it, that in itself is a huge issue. Then I'm part of the pessimistic law to show that we don't call ourselves pessimists, we call ourselves realists. The 2023 is just another election cycle because as long as it is these old people and this, this not this usual suspects that we are recycling and are coming, going to, can afford the 100 million to be able to get onto the ballot box, then why, why isn't it just another election cycle? Wow. So the answer to your question again is still an emphatic no. Thank you. <laughs> but, but you see, mm -hmm. let, let me combine what you just said with what uh, Tolu said. And I'm going to do this giving you a very real life experience. I have a, a colleague or friend who just relocated to the UK and says where he got to, is it Southampton or where, I can't really remember the area. He said this area was just classified under mm -hmm. another local council. And development, I was shocked when they said they were not getting the kind of development they want. I said, you can't see where we need development for Africa. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so he said they were not getting the kind of development they needed. So they complained to the council. 
The council didn't do anything. I think they took it to a higher authority that take us out of this place. You're not getting what we needed. They didn't get the kind of response they want, they needed. And they just did one thing. Collectively, register the party. Wow. And right now, the guy is telling me that right now, there are five candidates that are ready to vie for the next election within the council. And immediately they did that. The council that, I mean, is in charge of them now came to them. Oh, well, you didn't need to go there. We we're telling mm. you we're bringing development. It's just a process and all that. Now, what I'm saying is this. The non there is nowhere in the world, like Tulu rightly said, where mm. change is given. You earn it. You, you earn fight it. for it. Yes. And you keep changing strategies till you get the one that fits your, mm. your option. Now, in Nigeria, where we are today, you can, I don't care about you having 200 parties. It's not a big deal. INEC would not stop you. All INEC is saying is they cannot have a party and be relevant without the seats. So what's the best way to get a seat? Local government elections. Mm -hmm. ADC, I think they have one uh, chairman or councillor somewhere in Lagos or one of these states. They have about two, and I think they have one senate mm -hmm. or uh, someone in National Assembly. They don't have any governor, and they, are not, they were not deregistered. So as the people, you see, we, we the people need to come to that conclusion that, listen, 2023, Leave the presidency, just saying that on the side. Let's focus on our House of Reps. Let's mm. focus on our governors. Let's get the results we need from these people. Mm. And everything, will, it, will, it will change. It's it's, line. It's you you line. just need to yeah. start exactly. that process. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I totally agree with you. I don't think it's going to be drastic no. or you know, abrupt or instant mm. you know, overnight. I think that there will be change. But it's going to start little by little. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be drastic, mm -hmm. and li and you know, one drop of water is progress. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. And we, once it starts to, you know, uh, you get the power of volume, power of numbers. Then before you know, one day is is a cup of water. Before you know, it's a bowl of water. Before you know, it's a drum. Before you know, it's, it's an ocean. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. So, 2023, the youth should not give up if they don't see the names of the people they want on the ballot sheet. Well. Up next is comfort. Stay with us.